Hey there, everyone. This is Aokao playing main menu of Kirby's Return to Dreamland. We are in Ice World. Uh, we're doing Ice Worldy things, like slipping on ice and restarting. <laughs> That has been happening a lot, I feel like, lately. More so than before, I mean, I feel like that's sort of like a lot of how Kirby games get harder. Sometime, they just become more specific with the tools you need. Get a thing that you will want to get, I'm gonna press a switch. Oh man, everything blew up, no one pulled by the wind! Okay, well, uh, this is going alright, I guess. Wind time! Wind chime! I don't know why I jumped into that group of enemy. I mean, my goal was to then, you know, do a... Uh, why is the camera... Like, I feel like the camera could be a bit more in the back. Eat a cherry instantly and then have a snack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I guess I'm not getting that. That's totally... That is totally gonna be a gear. Yeah, see, look how far in the back I am here, compared to where I was in the... the other room. So maybe, like, go back a little bit, but no, see, the camera is still insisting on keeping me, like, right in the middle. Which is kind of not really where you want to be, necessarily. Here we go, blast off into a thing with a gear. I saw it coming. Yeah, and you know, it's, yeah, you know, and it's, yeah, you know. I'm glad I agree with myself. Okay, big chunk of I, oh, I see, they're in the foreground. Well, I can give myself a roof. The big ol' ice chunks are not too scary to me. Not even that little slimy. It can't do nothing. Guess we're getting a new batch, though. There you go. Got a one up. Got to slice that guy up. Get out of here. I got a new musical instrument in town, which is identical. Yeah. Okay. I that kept me locked somehow. That's pretty good. Okay. This is pretty good. Actually, just all the stones around you is pretty scary. Alright, let us fly. Oh. Yeah, I kind of let that happen. Oh boy, okay. No light, you know, light, man, no light. Exactly my thoughts. Yeah, that's right! Absorb the entire nation! And then just kind of chuck it somewhere else. Alright, it doesn't look like there's any vertical scrolling here, so I don't think I missed anything, but someone put a soft screen, soft serve ice cream inside a flower. Do you give me anything? Ooh, you guys are water, huh? Yeah, that makes sense. You know, a pretty slimy looking guy. Oh, we got ourselves a monkey race. You gotta fall down a fish jumping, which I feel that I might be doing. Oh, but his path is a lot less efficient, though. Ooh, okay, so now we're just gonna be doing things. Oh, yeah, here we go. Destroy the world. Uh, wait, how is this gonna work? So you do that so you can grab it and go underground, whereas if the monkey's just left to running, he'll just unlock the Scarfies. Uh, there's a down up for you, right? Right? Is it down up? Uh, hold! Okay, so, uh, uh, there you go. Alright, so I wanted to destroy the Scarface for absolutely no reason. The reason was that they would, in turn, try to destroy me if they had a chance. So, you know, it's just being preventive. Preventive of a thing that will never happen. Well, hello there, Super Ice Boy! Uh, time to Super Ice! Uh, yeah, you just go ahead and immerse yourself into a giant snowball, and, uh, here we go. <laughs> right, whoa, oh, hey, we got a reward for this. I don't know why, but we did. Okay, so that could have gone better, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Oh, there we go, just destroy some things. Oh, it's literally a frozen bullet pen. That is fun. Okay, here we go! Strike! It's 
split. Three way. All the bowling terms. All right, turkey. Yeah! Turkey time at the turkey bowl. So, I mean, I destroyed all of them. But yeah, it was, you know what? I understand your lack of innermerness there, friend though. Whoa, snowman's head. All right, we're gonna get ourselves a superstar. A mega star, power star. What is happening though? <laughs> all the spectacle here. <laughs> Just kind of wait for the the newly formed snowman king to make his decree. And the decree is, I'm gonna explode. Oh, we're going down, all right. Sweeper, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump over you. I hope you don't take it lightly. And here's ice for me. Destroy the world one breath at a time. If you want, you don't have to, but you, you probably should. You should probably destroy one one part at a time. You know, don't try to do too much. That's, I don't need lives. I cannot really use lives. Uh, all right, see, just, look at that. Once the killer wall gets closed, it stops. You know, it uh, becomes a coward. Whoops. So, uh, you have more time than it looks like, more often than not. And, uh, oh, that's all right. All right, I didn't need to do that, but I did anyway. Well, you know what? I did clear the icicles. Making it a little bit less scary, you know, a little bit more just get down, you know what? Yeah. Sometimes you just have to get down. Destroy the world! And eat ice cream. One ice cream. One you okay, I I could tell that was no good, but I went with it anyways. Same here, actually. Alright, well that just kind of I'm dead. I I was running too fast. Like there's ice, right? That stops your ability to break. So I couldn't break in time. Like, I could see it happening, but I did not have the ability to stop myself. It's fine, you know? It's okay. There's dangers in the game put into places. So if you're not in some amount of danger sometimes, you know? Like, what are they doing? That's the way I see it. It doesn't matter that it's a Kirby game, lol. Uh... Things are, you know, yeah, like, things are designed such a way where you will be put in danger, and failure is a possible consequence, and that's good. Go. I don't think I'm running at this point. Doesn't matter all that much. Go, then we do that again. But it's not really much of an obstacle. I mean, it is, but... Alright, so then we go here, same thing. Like, it's just, there's kind of one thing you can do, and nothing's gonna stop you, really. All right, this, oh, uh, yeah, see, it's slippery. It's all, like, icy, because this is, you know, still an ice world, even if we are in the zebra space of it. There you go. I stopped myself in time, because I knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, just try to let things go a little bit. Get the star for fun! I mean, it's there at the end of the path. I feel bad not getting it. Um, for a Yogg Ball, I feel like Cut is better than, um... Okay, didn't matter. Then Bomb? Could have been a mistake, I don't know. But like, you know, like, Bomb is kind of a slower thing, right? Whereas this, I can just kind of put it out there. It's like, oh no, he's going all lightning zone. What am I gonna do, right? Oh, well, I'm not gonna do the right thing. Okay, yeah, you're supposed to go in the space zones between flight. Got it! That's okay. We're learning still. Oh, the walls are super in the way, though. But it doesn't matter all that much, because he does just kind of flies all over the place, and even if blocks occasionally get in the way, it doesn't matter all that much. And now I'm in space uh, for a very brief moment in time. Look at this beautiful area, though. It is picturesque. Get out of here, Hatter Broomer. I gotta get out of this level. This was a shorter level than the past few levels. But yeah, like, at first I was wondering if it was gonna be like a full-on gimmick level. You are pushed by the wind. Uh, you are just constantly pushed forward kind of thing. Which, I mean, why not, right? They're allowed to do little gimmick levels. But it's true that, in history, Kirby games never, like, just kind of stick to one. They do like to offer options 
Like, just kind of, whoa, hey, new copy room! You can now copy your neighbor. Well, obviously we're doing world five. Nothing stopping us here. Here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead. Uh, if it offers me a power up, I want it, probably. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be a something. We got ghosts living inside vases. So we got a door. And here's Knuckle Joe. He's gone now. He's not here. I found myself a key. It's pretty great. And I can open it and go over here. That wasn't much of a split path, it turns out. But you know what? That's okay. There's gonna be a thing I'm gonna have to break. Hey there, moving block. Just big, solid chunk of ice. Moving left and right. These guys are just chilling. I can't let that happen. It seems kind of mean. We live in a mean place. Why are you so stripey? I don't know. That's kind of a mummy. I'm holding a cannon. That I am. Destroy the world and everything inside. If anything is left, well, I will leave it in stride. I will do that. You can't stop me. Hey, look at that. Using the power of cannons, we can destroy the world a little bit. We get a one up. Uh oh, can I get down here in time though? Uh, how do I destroy these underneath? Like that! <laughs> I was genuinely a little bit worried there. It turns out everything was okay, but only just. All right, don't get smushed by the moving layers. You can avoid it. That's my hint. What's that magic orb, man? Just check out it's me, magic orb. Yeah, I'm ice. You're nice. Great. I'm glad we became friends. Hey, look at that prize. Not worth it though. This is the blue star, man. All right, we were there before. I removed your hat. Uh, I can't. I need fire to destroy all of this. And, and I'm pretty sure there's a door there. Okay. Do you think I'm gonna have a way to come back? Look, if I have uh, to come back. I'll come back. Okay, I cannot return. Such is the creed. Uh, this is a level I'm officially gonna have to play through twice, I think. And you know what? I, I think like that's just something I kind of have to accept. Like, this is just how this game works. How, like, late game Kirby works. Oh no, Scarpy is mad. And Dragon is glad. Because, yeah, like, I do not have a door to come back, unfortunately. Like, see, the door I came through doesn't exist anymore. That's a problem. But a problem I have limited ways to deal with. Destroy the world and get a cupcake. Good. Those are good advice. Now, it's dark. Ice isn't bright. But this candle is. Yeah. Are you something? Oh, you're probably Beam, actually. Like, just seeing the attack you just did there. Snowman fall! Snowman cake! I don't want to let go of my lamp, though. What did I do there? I don't know. Spreading worlds of happiness and death. Okay, so... I mean, you know what? That kind of makes sense. It's just fire on a candle. And here I am. Oh, someone exhausted my candle. Did you do that? Oh, no. Okay, I think what needs to happen is you freeze little snowball gem, and then you kick him, and he hits the switch. And then, you know, yeah, you get, like, the dynamite effect, and then, hey, rewarded! Hey, look at that. The gears are smart. Well, you know what? It's nice to have that actually fully confirmed and not just assumed. I'm gonna destroy this thing. I just did that. I'm gonna press down and press the switch. How about that? Stars everywhere, calling your names, like Jeffrey and Norman, and maybe McCain. Very strange. <laughs> Do not try to understand the mystical life of stuff. Good advice. We're holding things today. We just grab things and we're on our way. Check that out. There's meat on the bone. I didn't get it, though. Alright, so now I can do that. 
Let's see, you use the thing to get the thing, or you just go forward and get nothing. Great! Get out of here. Now I'm gonna go and get that key. There we go. Skating! But I took the time to destroy my enemies. Uh, so doing, though, was really safe. Okay, so this level also was kind of shortish. See, I, I felt like the Water World stages are huge. This one has an extra stage. Uh, but they definitely feel shorter, don't they? So I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna get the gear I missed. I just need to make sure I grab something fiery. To be able to eliminate ice. And afterwards, I think we're actually gonna go ahead and do the boss. Like, why not at this point? Like, it's right there. Snowman. Snowman's gone. Because it's just, we're gonna have the time for it. Boink, boink, boink. Yeah, I know I got one missing. You don't have to taunt me. There's the fire in me. Okay. Get out of here. Enemies do respawn very easily in this game. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, like, it's not always clear when, you know, you see an enemy, are you gonna need its abilities or not? It's... it's not... god damn it. Go away! It's me! I'm the guy with fire powers! Get out of here, ice! Yeah, you see, like, you could see, you could tell the outline of the door. Alright, so clearly there's gonna be, like, a race of some kind. Because, yeah, there's no exit from there. Alright, so I just did that. Uh, okay. So it's just, like, a little bit of. Oh boy. Okay, this is interesting, actually. So it's like, find out the path. And, you know, I guess fire can be a druid skill. So, it does kind of match. Whoa! I didn't expect it to just fly off by that, though. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here, hat face. Hat head. But yeah, a lot of it is just like, alright. You know, so, what's the path going to be like? And now I know that the path is lower here. Uh, whoa. Whoa! -ho -ho! I did it! Second attempt! Uh, I mean, honestly, that path could have been pretty tricky. Alright, man, I don't know if exiting... Now that I've completed everything is gonna save it. But since I know the level's kinda short, I'm just gonna go ahead and end it normally. And here we are. Okay, so there was a little bit more to the level than I thought I remembered. There was like the whole, like, dark... Sp Dark, dark zone spot and all that, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and do the boss anyways. Like, this is the bosses are just... tend to be kind of short affairs. One extra gear! Yeah, if I had, like, a challenge I could pair with a boss, I'd leave it. I can't, I, I don't want to next time start with a boss and then start the new world. Like, I like to have my... I like to have my world, like, nice and compartmentalized. Oh, hmm. This offers distance. And I feel like if you're learning a boss, having the ability to stand back is, uh, you know, is a pretty good one. I mean, not knowing anything about the boss now. Oh, jeez. Okay. Here we go. We got ourselves a Yeti. Goriath. It's like Goliath, but Gorilla. Unbelievable. All my shurikens are... Whoa. Okay, I kind of jumped into you there. Okay, so snowball. Uh-huh. Okay, all right. You got the Donkey Kong special. Oh, you hurt your hand. Well, I don't know if you got hurt, but you definitely felt it. Uh-huh. Okay, I just kind of let that happen, it feels like. You know what? I am not doing great. You know what, I feel like Ninja isn't very strong, it turns out, and also I just keep missing. It's kind of sad. Alright, yeah. There we go. Point a punch. I keep throwing where you're... What are you doing? Okay. The DDD special, got it. There we go. 
Nope, missed still. Man, I'm mad at this. Throw me snowballs, please. Alright, now throw where... There we go, where he actually is, uh, and not where he was seconds ago. Consider that. Ooh, he's Super Saiyan now. Alright, pretty good. I am unperturbed. Uh-huh. Okay, he's gonna... That's a very... Oh, but you do that. Okay. Gonna... God damn, I, I just cannot, man. I just can... Really, not even my big... Big blow? Alright, okay. Now, we got uneven floors. I mean, this is nice. It's a boss where, like, things are happening. Oh, you actually hit me. Like, I might actually lose. I, I hope not, but it might happen. I'm just gonna hide inside. See, I just... I'm bad at this. Okay, icicles. Maybe I should go where there isn't an icicle? It's a pretty smart idea, probably. Did I hit him there? Maybe not. I'm not sure. Pretty bad at judging these kind of things. Just gonna hide here if you don't mind. Yeah, they're kind of the kind of oh shoot. I've been too aggressive here. Like I just went into a danger spot. Whoa! I'm just I'm just gonna eat that ice crystal here if you don't mind. There you go. In your face! Look at that! See, because I took, because I fought the boss Kirby style. We got to actually see what the boss is all about. And that felt good, because, like, he did a whole lot of things. He was all over the place, had really cool moves. Uh, the game is very generous with hell, though. Kirby! Little Kirby guy. He is incredibly resilient. <laughs> he can take damage. Here we go. I feel like we just got the last lore. What's that part? A cow catcher for, you know, in case space cows are in the way? Yeah, we, I feel like we just saw the world. Uh, mini game, not mini game, but cutscene. But I think yeah, what we spend like about three videos in the world typically. So yeah, like that's not a lot. Yeah, that is just like the fence. It's the part so you don't just fall off the bridge if you're out on it and the boat is navigating interstellarly. Which seems like a bad idea to do. Kirby, you've done it. Starcutter finally has its emblem. Oh, that's the part. It's the most important one. That's right. That's right. I'm gonna go and visit your home, which I'm assuming the game is gonna continue. Unless there's like a billion gears here in Popstar, which in the last world, which I doubt that's gonna happen. Oh, it hasn't been an ordeal. This has been a lot of fun. It's like the opposite of an ordeal. Being such a cool wow, Magalore just called me a cool dude. Six four, yeah, like we're barely over half of all gear, so there's gonna be like a straight up other half in Magalore Town is the only natural conclusion a person can can get to, like right? 